Dog, I just found YouTube gold. Not like gold in a good way. This is terrible. This is bad. This is very, very bad news. But the fact that you get to see it on my channel is great news. Go to your nearest industrial shop, maybe a refinery, wherever you can get access to through a gate. Go to one of those eyewash stations, everything in your face, and scrub for a long fucking time. I'm currently enrolled in therapy. I'm about four sessions in. I'm doing really well. So I apologize in advance for forcing you to start your therapy journey. But this is bad. You know that little, like, demon person that everybody warns you about? They're like, this is the person you don't want around your kids? I found that person. You might want to lock your doors during this video. I'm about to make you cringe and squirm and throw up and everything. Like, this is bad. This is very bad news. Radicate, bitch. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, 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 Okay, that was dangerous. Don't try that at home. I gotta stay packing in case this he she thing tries to come touch my butthole. Anyways, see for yourself what I'm speaking of. Hi, LGBTQ characters and LGBTQ culture is a great thing for kids. Yeah, I don't think so, partner. Do you want me to poke you in the eye with a bamboo stick? Please, repeat that again for me, because I, I don't know what to make of that. You know, this is not a gay hate thing. This is not anything against gay people. This has... Like, nothing to do with gay. This is, this is about children, dog. If you're 20 years old and you want to be gay and do whatever and stick a dildo to your head and walk around and play sword fight with people in the middle of a Starbucks, that's perfectly fine. But we don't need to be telling little four-year-olds, like, hey, go outside and sword fight, but not with a sword. Take a dildo. It'll really help you explore your sexuality. Six seconds into this video and I'm already triggered. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about it, because you are important. So there are two reasons why kids, youths, young adults need to see LGBTQ characters and LGBTQ culture in media, on TV, in their own families. They need to see it for two reasons, which I'll get to in just a moment. Um, I got one reason why they don't. Pro-American people that like to protect children. Put that away for us scare that liberal off. Actually, I'm just kidding. That's kind of the point. Get out of here, varmint. Dude, can you just sit back and like think about this logically? Like as a viewer, like think about this as a viewer. So as YouTubers, content creators, like when we want to make a video, usually I'm more of like on the fly. I think of something. So I'll sit down, set my phone up, press record, let it roll. Now this person, their whole like channel is dedicated to this weird shit. So like I said, keep in mind, this person sat down in front of a camera, brainstormed this idea, and then decided that they were going to make a case about why we should introduce gay shit and transgender shit to small children. That one's, uh, I don't know. I, re I really do not know what to make of that. That's just a, that's a red flag to me. That is a huge red flag. Hey bro, did you see my YouTube video I posted today? No man, what's it about? Oh, just trying to let everybody know that we should fucking, you know, let kids fucking explore their sexuality and shit. Kids, like... Like, what do you mean by kids? Oh, do you know, like, kindergarten and shit, bro? Um, what? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, after they get out of school, they finish coloring, they learn half of the alphabet, they come home, you know, we show them, like, what guys do with guys and shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know what you do with guys, but when I'm hanging out with my buddies, we do guy shit. Oh, well, whatever, I'm hanging out with my sisters that are not exactly sisters. Um, we don't do those things. Uh, what the fuck y'all do? There's a game called Hide and Seek in the Dark. And you have to take all your clothes off, get in the closet, lock the door, bring peanut butter with you, and whoever gets it is it. I'm not gonna have to keep doing this to you. But first, it's necessary to say, to say. You shouldn't be allowed around local elementary schools. See that? I got skills going to America. It's got talent, baby. This channel makes me so uncomfortable. What has my channel even come to? No, we're, we're getting back to saving the world, okay? I fell off for a minute. I quit saving the world. I was just posting random shit. Now we're back on a mission, baby. I talked to Upchurch. He got me fucking supercharged. He was like, dude, I see something special in you. You're a fucking man. Keep going, bro. Next thing I know, I come home. Bam! Weirdos. Nobody else is going to stand up and say it, so let your boy fucking pop his collar and get to work, baby. I'm cleaning house, and I don't even need a broom. Who needs a broom when you got a nine, boy? My crowd, my following, we making a change, motherfucker. All you little fucking weirdos on the internet, you won't find yourself on my channel. I can be a good person and pro-Jesus and shit, but you know what Jesus don't like? Child molesters. Woohoo! 
Oh, let me catch you saying some weird shit on the internet. I will find you. I will find you. We're gonna be cleaning up the internet, if you know what I'm saying. So I hope you think I'm ugly, because get used to seeing my face, bitch. Hey, and if you got a problem with it, you can come to Texas. You know where I'm at, bro? Come sit in front of me and explain to me why you want to teach sexuality to small kids. Please, let's see how that goes for you. I ain't scared, baby. I'm back on my bullshit. We're back to making funny videos, boys. And maybe one girl that watches my channel, probably my mom. What's up, mom? Anyways, back to this weirdo. We're not talking about age inappropriate things. We're not talking about talking to kids about some of the deeper stuff that adults talk about in relationships. We're talking about like on Scooby-Doo, Velma <laughs> being an LGBTQ character and why that's good for kids. This in here, a little reincarnation of James Charles, that's not good for kids. It's not a gay hate thing. It's not that we don't wanna have gay people around and, and pretend like, you know, y'all don't belong in the world. That's not what I'm saying. There's no issue with gay people. The issue is the interaction with children. Leave children alone. They are babies, bro. Babies. They need to be outside playing with Tonka trucks. Falling down, getting fucking hurt. Having the chain pop off their bicycle and flying over the fucking handlebars and getting a bruise. Not sitting in front of your fucking weird ass with weird hair, makeup, and a fucking beard talking about... Oh, well, do you, do you like your friends? Your friend? You got a friend named Robert? Well, well, how do you like Robert? Do you like Robert as, like, your friend? Or, like, would you kiss Robert? You don't need the television shows that these kids watching having a bunch of weird shit on it that's for adults. Sexuality is for adults. Quit trying to take away children's innocence and make it fucking normal. It's not normal. You're a weirdo, and the fact that that video is still up on your YouTube channel says a fucking lot about the internet. I was born in 2002, but I got to see shit like Scooby-Doo. I watched Bob the Builder. That's who I liked as a kid. Now, it's okay. Bob the Builder was a Mexican guy that had a bunch of talking tools, and he'd work on shit, and he had the screwdriver and the fucking hammer that would say dumb shit all the time. We would laugh at that. We wanted to be cool. I wanted a tool belt. I wanted to be like my papa because he was into carpentry shit. Like, that's, that's for kids, man. That's our entertainment. It would have done me no good if, if Bob the Builder would have had a rainbow flag on, and every time he fucking went to work on something, he'd bend over and you'd see a fucking purple thong hang out of his ass. So often, people like me, activists, we are fighting the turfs the bigots, the folks on the far right, we're fighting them so much that we're just trying to convince everybody it's okay. You don't want to fight me because I actually know how to fight. Are you scared yet, bitch? Actually, I'm just kidding. If that is a woman, I don't, I don't want to have that on my conscience. I don't hit women. But bro, I will drop kick a child molester. Hey! Tony Ferguson. Hey, I love the little movement, though. We are fighting. Fighting against this because we're activists and we're never ever not ever gonna ever um give up on on, on the good fight because the good fight is for us to fight like kids like 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 kids do weird shit i mean let us do weird shit to kids because <laughs> that's what we really want bro i would love a boxing match one of these people put them up i ain't scared put them up to have the gays on tv the gays g-a-y-s not g-a-z-e that it's okay to have them on tv when actually it's beneficial it's amazing. It should be celebrated. It should happen all the time because it's a good thing. Bro, no wonder politicians like these fucking weirdos. They communicate in the same way. They know that they're telling you some bullshit that shouldn't fly, but they try to convince you with their mannerisms and the way they say it to you. So they're saying something wrong that they know is wrong, but they're like, if they just put a little more emphasis out there, they're like, it's beneficial. It's good. It's great. It's in a, a not, not inappropriate. It's super appropriate. I mean, just listen to my argument. What does a second grader need more than a coloring book? A 45 year old bald fat substitute that wants to see his butt cheeks. Right, it's beneficial. Um, that, that don't really sound very beneficial to me or um, the rest of America that's not fucking brainwashed. Dude, this is why we need God. This is, this, this is why we need God. For two reasons. Number one, we exist. If part of a parent's job is to prep young people for the real world, well, we're part of the real world. And learning to interact with people like us, learning to be comfortable around people like us, learning to see people like us as full, equal human beings, is just good, honest preparation for what someone will encounter in the world. Oh, so now you're giving parenting advice. Bro, I wouldn't let you watch a frog for me. Hell, if I left my dog with you, he'd probably come back traumatized with his butthole gaped open this fucking wide. Next thing I know, my dog would be scared of bedrooms. And you want to know about the real world and parenting? I'm not even a parent, and I'll tell you this. The real world that parents should make their children aware of is bills, stress, relationship advice, how to communicate with your partner, the right way to use a credit card, how to change a tire, and how to cook basic food so you can feed yourself. 
Not ways that you should talk to people that want to touch your asshole. Respect everyone at all times. But if someone's using some kind of manipulative tactic to get close to you or to take advantage of you, don't respect them. Elbow them in the fucking eye socket. Take your little high heels and all your bullshit and hit the road. History. LGBTQ folks, we're only moving in one direction and that's more of us being open, being out, being part of everyone's everyday life. And so a good parent would prep their kid by showing their kid all that exists in the world, the kinds of ways it is to be human. And speaking of which, speaking of which, speaking of which, speaking of which, I'm a fucking weirdo. You should pepper spray me in the eyes. I don't know what to think. I don't. I don't. My brain is just like eating itself right now. <clears throat> Fuck it. I'm ready to fight, baby. I'm ready to fight. Come on. I'm Mexican, but I'll cut you. Number two. I'm trying to take a number two, bro. Get out of here. Gotta hide in the shower from you, man. What I need is for you to understand that LGBTQ people are a metaphor. Even if a young person never turns out to be LGBTQ. What you need is mental health, motherfucker. You need to get a damn mental evaluation, shit. Also, while we're at it, you need to eat a damn tater biscuit. Your damn neck so skinny looks like if I tried to choke you, you'd fucking die. Hopefully none of them transsexual homo sapien men you sleeping with ain't overweight. Now that's what an extraterrestrial is. Whew, give me a damn headache looking at this man woman. Even if they grow up <laughs> and they're cis, <laughs> where they're straight, they're not LGBTQ. The metaphor of us is inclusion. Every kid needs to see it's okay to be yourself. It's okay to be fully yourself. It's okay to celebrate others. It's okay to include others. I don't know what part of that y'all can't get through y'all's brain. Everyone knows it's okay to be yourself, but as far as kids, the topic that we're on, because you made a video about sexuality being taught to children, they get to know that side of themselves when they're old enough to. That's the whole thing of having an adult brain and letting your adult brain make adult decisions. I know, it's fucking mind-blowing, right? If a child, boy or girl, because there's only two genders, grows up and decides that, hey, I'm 18 years old now, I want to be gay. That is perfectly fine. Be gay. You're an adult. You can have gay sex, so be gay. But trying to sit there and tell people that they're failing as parents because they're not telling their 10-year-old what gay marriage is and gay sex and gay relationships, that's bizarre. Right? It started as the gays. Then it went to LGBT. Then it went to LGBTQ. Then it went to LGBTQIA+++. Yeah, you're kind of proving my point here. That, that's, that's, that's the thing, bro. Or dude or not dude, but whatever, whatever, you know, I, I don't know, but what the fuck ever you are. It's like the more, the more leniency we give you, because that's what like your group of people is like, we want more of this and then we give it to you. And then you just continue to pull more from the fire. You know what I'm saying? So like basically the climate in the world is really cold right now. So we need to sort of fire to warm everybody up. So this is a big stack of firewood. Okay. Got some lighter pine over here, but we take some wood to start the fire so that I can be warm and you can be warm. But the problem with you is you keep pulling more firewood, taking away from my fire. So my fire's burning out. I'm, I'm, I'm not warm anymore. I'm pretty fucking cold. I'm like dick shriveled up, nipples hard cold. And you're just getting warmer and fucking warmer and just over there in flip flops at this point. It's 30 degrees outside. <laughs> we're the ones that keep adding letters because we're the ones that keep including people. And that message is valuable for young people and adults to see on the internet, on TV, in their personal life. It's so important. And seeing people like us on the screen and in real life is a good thing. Yeah, that's a hard no. Anyways, fellas, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Glad I could bring you some quality content. If you see this person anywhere outside, run for your life. Run for your life! That is a wrap for me. I'm getting off here. That is enough internet on Easter Sunday. Good Lord. Like I said, bro, my channel, my squad, all the people that back me, bro, we're cleaning the internet up, dude, and I'm 22 years old. Y'all be good. I love y'all. Later.